hello 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 you guys how are you beautiful people doing i hope everyone is well and doing great um thank you so much for clicking on this video so today's video is going to be some girl chats so please 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 press the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate you guys i really really appreciate you guys being here it means a lot to me and my channel is growing slowly but surely so in today's video I just want to talk about becoming a high value woman like there comes a time in your life that you just decide that you want to be a high value woman and for me it was a bit later on because like from the environment that I grew up in and the people I grew around and just my community I'm from a small town and there's not much happening there and people just live the same way and nobody really cared about elevating themselves and i took the decision for myself that i wanted i decided that i wanted better for myself and i just decided i want better for myself and this small town is not going to give me better and me being here is just going to hold me back so i need to be a high value woman and in order for me to be the kind of woman that this pastor has described and this woman that I have fell in love with and this woman I'm trying so hard to be, I have to move out and I have to go to pack my bags and go to Johannesburg. So whenever you feel like that environment you are in is not working for you, pack your bag and go. I'm not saying just pack your bag and go without a plan. Make a plan, pack your bag and go and just go and look for better if you know that you want better just go and look for it go and fish for it just go and fish for it because trust me if you don't do it like when when you're still young you are going to regret it you are going to regret like why i never moved out of this small town now I, now i am old now i so at this time i was already exposed to durban because i was living in durban for three years before i decided like i want to go to johannesburg so going back home was not an option and also please don't get me wrong i'm not saying you can't be a high value woman in a small town of course you can be it's just that for me personally the kind of life i envisioned for myself i couldn't live that life in a small town you get like if you don't follow your dream you are just going to be miserable and living a miserable life so i really 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 thank god that he gave me the courage to pack my bag and go <laughs> becoming a high value woman happened really really late in my life like i think i was like 23 when i decided that this is the type of woman i want to be like <laughs> i remember i was watching um pastor sarah pastor sarah jakes and i think that was the like her early stages of preaching and she was just talking about how you should value yourself as a woman and that message really 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 resonated with me and that woman she was describing I really really wanted to be that woman and I believed I can actually be that woman and I knew that I'm capable of being that woman I just need the right tools so here I am giving you these few tips to be that woman okay so for me like before you even decide that you want to be a high value woman step number one this is what i did even though i'm still struggling but for the most part yeah so in order to be a high value woman 
the first step you need to do is to get rid of energy vampires yes energy vampires you can look the word up on google but with my explanation energy vampires are people who just suck you dry you know let's say you have a friend and every time this friend of yours is around you she's always telling you her problem looking uh looking at you for answers or looking at you for advice or just draining your energy maybe her presence alone could just drain your energy and every time this person leaves you just feel so tired and so fatigued that you, you just want to sleep or just not do anything so this person is actually taking from you they are taking so much of your energy so this these are the type of people you want to get rid of whether it's family members whether it's friends or whether it's an environment an environment can also be an energy vampire like maybe where you hang out is not good for you and you just get these kind of people who always want to take and take and take and take from you and they just never pour anything back to you so i highly suggest that you firstly get rid of energy vampires so the second step now that you have gotten rid of all these vampires the people who are sucking you blood who are sucking you dry the people who are just coming for your blood now that you've gotten rid of all of them the next thing you want to do i believe those people left you dirty and they left you just unclean so the next step you want to do is you want to clean yourself like you want to thoroughly clean yourself you firstly need to clean your mind so whatever negative and emotional traumas or anything that just makes you feel unclean those people have installed in your mind you need to get rid of all of that you need to reprogram your mind again to be that person you were before these energy vampires came into your life and actually sucked out all the energy from you so for me personally i love to do yoga i love to do yoga i usually do this with my doctor i love to do yoga yoga works for me it makes me feel very nice and calm and you know after yoga you just feel good there's different yogas there's yoga where you just sit down and you just listen to whatever audio you are listening to and then there's yoga where you actually move your body in different exercises so just choose whichever one works for you and another thing you can do to clean yourself is manifest manifest for that energy to actually leave your body so for me my favorite book when it comes to manifesting this is the book I actually got this book like um, four years, five, five, almost five years ago. This is the book. It's called The Angel Bible. And this book has a lot of rituals and all of those things on how to manifest and how to pray for what you want, how to get closer to God and all of this. There's just so much. They even have prayers. They have... Um, Bible verses that are quoted for you and they just have a lot of chakras all those things so this book is just my go-to this book works for me and I believe in manifesting so this is the angel Bible I'm sure you can get this book at any store um, close to you so the second thing I do again is read you guys I'm a bookworm so <laughs> I'm a bookworm, I love reading, so mostly it's for this, it's just gonna be books. Hold on, let me get them. So another book that you can use to cleanse yourself is The Secret. I love, 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 love this book. If you are a person who is very lazy to read, you can actually get those apps 
where they have a book and somebody actually reads the book to you or you can even go on here on YouTube and you can actually get someone read the book to you I love 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 this book this is called the secrets this book has a lot of ways to manifest and it actually like opens your mind about manifesting and all of those things this book has a lot of information I would highly 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 suggest that every every young woman or who wants to be a high value woman and they want to build their confidence and they want to build their self-esteem up they should definitely definitely read this book i love this book but you know what i think i like this more because this i think i like the angel bible more because it actually teaches you about god and i love god god is my rock and everything so i like this one more but this one is very good as well so another book that i read to cleanse myself of energy vampires and energy vampire situations or energy vampire surroundings is the holy bible yes it is the holy bible i love 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 reading this book like i love reading this book like my mom usually give me usually gives me verses like you should read this you know and i also have like childhood verses that we used to sing in church and i you know so i really really love this book the holy bible and to tell you guys a joke <laughs> <laughs> this one time I attempted to read this book like from front to back and I didn't succeed I don't even know where I stopped but I didn't read it all but I, I read most of it I read most of it so number three you have to work on your self-esteem if you want to be a high-value woman you have to be very, very, very confident. Like when you walk into a room, like people have to feel your presence. People have to feel your energy. They have to feel like, yes, like there's a high value woman walking in here and we can feel her present. And in order for people to feel your present, first off, like I said in my previous videos, you have to look the part. You have to look good. You have to smell good. You have to look clean. You have to be well groomed. So your self esteem can be up. Regardless of those things, just underneath, you have to be very, very, very confident. And there's so. Number four, I just wanna talk about self love. Let me tell you, no one can validate you it's only you who can validate you so whatever you say about you me and everybody else that's what we're gonna believe and that's what we're gonna go for so if you feel like you are not good enough or you are just not beautiful or you're not this and this and this we are gonna believe you we're not gonna be against it if you, if you say I'm ugly oh we're gonna say yeah you ugly if you say um, I don't believe in myself we are going to believe that you don't believe in yourself so you have to have self-love you have to love yourself you have to talk to yourself good you have to tell yourself nice things you have to be your own best friend like you really really need to be content with you and yourself the most important thing about self-love you have to know who you are because when you know who you are nobody can tell you anything different Cause the minute they tell you, no, you like this and this and this, you're gonna say, oh, hold up, wait, wait. No, 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 that's not me you're describing. That's probably you. I am this and this and this and this, and I am a high value woman. You have to talk with mannerism, whether you want to, to um, I don't know, let's say a person is being rude to you, and in order for you, instead of you being rude back, just say whatever you want to say in a very polite way. Like, no, I am not that. Whatever you are saying, you're not describing me. You're describing yourself right now. Be very sure of yourself. Stand your ground. Like, be a very high value woman. 
but lacking self-love is very common you guys some people just lack self-love so if you do lack self if you do lack self-love there's so many things you can do to help you boost your, your uh, confident just be around people um, and just do things that make you feel happy and just again just manifest and be in that mood reprogram your mind to be in that place where you were happy again or just remember those memories that made you happy and why were you happy probably something it was something or someone then go back and do exactly that that was making you happy learn to love yourself so the last thing i want to talk about is self-respect i need to work on this one also <laughs> i need to work on this one also so this is my last point a high value woman respects herself from the moment she leaves her house she respects herself when she leaves her house, she leaves it in, in a way that when she comes back, in case she comes back with people in the house, they can see this, per this person actually respects themselves. So a person who respects themselves, you don't put yourself in difficult situations. You do not put yourself in difficult situations. For example, you don't put yourself in debt. You don't put yourself in useless relationships that are just gonna drain you. You don't put yourself in a relationship with an energy vampire. You don't waste your time. High value women value their time. Time is very valuable and no one should waste your time. If you can see that relationship is wasting your time, cut it off. If you can see that that um, friend is wasting your time, cut it off. If you can see that career you are doing right now is wasting your time, cut it off and try something new. You still have time to always elevate yourself. You don't have time to waste, but you still have time to always, that, to always elevate yourself. Do not waste your energy. Do not waste your energy. Don't waste your energy on people who don't care about you, on people who don't love you. Always keep your head up and always be positive. Your mind should always think about positive things that are going to happen to you and that are going to happen to your life. Stay prayed up and stay reading. If you are lazy to read, get that app. I forgot the name of the app, but I'm sure I have it. Get that app where they actually read for you. So you just sit back, sip your coffee and have your snack and just sit back and just listen. Be jealous with yourself. Just stay indoors. Only go to places that suit you like this is the mistake i like i usually make you know sometimes you don't want to disappoint friends and this is something i do all the time like i would know like i don't want to go to this place because this place is not for a high value woman like me but because i have these type of friends who like going to that to that kind of place or that kind of environment i would just take my big head and follow them <laughs> like that's just not right that's just not right you are doing something else that doesn't make you happy but it makes someone else happy you know that you are a high value woman and a high value woman doesn't hang out with such people and you don't hang out in such places so respect yourself respect where you go respect the people you go with or respect the people you hang around with like sometimes like I have so many relationships, I mean friendships, that I've tried to end. But because I'm such a nice person and I genuinely, I, and I genuinely I'm such a nice person and I genuinely like these people, I just want to end the relationship on a good note and I don't want to be rude. So, you know, but sometimes it's good to cut these people who are not on the same level as you. I don't mean money. But I mean in a level of your elevation. Because right now you are a high value woman. And all you are doing right now is leveling up step by step, step by step. So if you have these people down there while you are up here, they are just going to drag you back down where you started. And we don't want that. 
so love yourself make sure your self-esteem is good respect yourself and respect everyone else just because you respect yourself it doesn't mean you must not respect everyone else honey and just because you are so sure of yourself i'm not saying don't respect other people be sure of yourself but also be a very respect respectful woman because a high value woman respects other people and they respect other people's opinion even though you don't have to take other people's opinion but just give that person space to say whatever they want to say even though you don't agree with it and you can reply with whatever you want to reply with in a very good manner because you are a high value woman who only talks with class and respects herself and just nobody is going to determine who you are regardless of where you're from you are the king right now you are the queen of your life right now ladies it's you like you are the driver wherever you say the will should go that's where it goes so thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate you again and please don't forget to like subscribe and comment thank you guys for watching i will see you on the next one peace out Mwah.